taxes. I mean, I save so much money in income taxes by just being a landlord that I would never, um, you know, not do it. Uh, but my main source of income is also media. I've always had dual careers. I've been in media, I've been in real estate. The reason I got into the real estate was because the media was not enough money. I was not able to have the quality of life and the kind of life that I wanted by being a freelance journalist. I mean, there's, it's not a high paying field. So that's why I started getting into the real estate because I knew that that was the best way for me to expedite my portfolio and my wealth. When you exit out of a rental property, do you try to get the tenants to purchase? Lorenzo? Or do you look for investors to purchase to leave the tenants in there? Or do you wait until the tenants are gone and then fix it up and sell it vacant? No, I, I don't wait till they leave. I normally just um, put it back on the market. Okay. Um, most of the time it goes through a traditional broker. Okay. Um, most often through my property manager. If my philosophy is, if you're doing such a great job for me managing my property and ensuring that I have the cash flow that I need, I'm going to give you my listing. I want you to benefit financially from my real estate transactions. So if they treat me well and I like them, they're going to get the listing before anybody else. Uh, do you have experience in rehabbing and wholesaling and, and what has your experience been with those type of investments? I haven't wholesaled yet, although I have taken seminars on that. Uh, rehabbing, we did do a rehab for our vacation rental. Um, it is on the market now and uh, we bought it for 31000 cash. Uh, great property, two and a half acres. Obviously not in Kern County. In Kern County. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Kern County, Lake Isabella. We bought it about seven years ago. It was a foreclosure. And we did rehab that property, and now we have it listed. Um, I, I'm not really much of a fix and flipper. Uh, the reason is, number one, you can lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing. Some of the the best deals on the market right now are from investors that were trying to rehab and they didn't know what they were doing and they run they ran out of money before the rehab was complete. So unfortunately that happens a lot and I've seen it happen a lot. So I'm more of a buy and hold investor, rental income, that's what I enjoy the most because I feel it's the less risky of you know, besides wholesaling, where you don't use your money or credit, but um, I think the rental, having rentals, is probably the safest and one of the easiest uh, ways to profit from real estate. Oh, you got the passive income. Yeah, the passive, and you can't, you know, pass the, on the passive yeah. income, and also the tax benefits are incredible. I mean, um, just this year alone, um, I thought I was going to have to, you know, pay some money and. After I spoke with my accountant, he said, no, you're fine. You're actually going to get, you know, some money back. And I was like, how can that be possible? But it is possible. I mean, the depreciation and everything's a right, tax write-off. So it, it really works well at the end of the year. Do you ever do any of your investments through an IRA? Um, I haven't because I wasn't, five years ago, I wasn't aware that you could invest with an IRA, like real, buy real estate, mm -hmm. and I have an IRA, but unfortunately, I tied it in with the stock market, so my portfolio decreased tremendously as a result, mm -hmm. um, so I haven't really focused on the whole IRA investing because of that, because I was so um, distressed by the fact that I lost so much money in my yeah. IRA that I just kind of set it aside and didn't right. focus on that. But I learned that you could buy real estate through your IRA last year. Um, and you know now I can definitely see why people want to take advantage of that. That's a great way of buying real estate. Well, when you started in the market, uh, from what you've indicated to us, that's when the market was going up, 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 unreal. Yeah. So you uh, benefit from incredible equity in yes. a very, very short time. Yes. So how would you approach the market now when it's the opposite? Great question. Well, right now what I'm focusing on is I'm interested 
in, like Dan, doing partnerships. Um, because I do have a lot of mortgages in my name. And of course, we all know that it's difficult to um, get funding and, and financing for your deals. So one of the ways that I'm approaching this market now is I'm really interested in partnering with other people, um, which means less money, less risk, less time. And because of the magazine and the people that I, that I have met and known, I'm actually getting people coming up to me saying, Linda, I would love to do a deal with you. Keep me in mind if you ever want to you know, buy a property or do this or do that, which is awesome. And uh, I think that I'm leaning more towards that now um, because I'm all for less risk and less you know, money out of my own pocket, more creative real estate. Um, so I think that's probably one of the uh, best ways to go. Um, and it's great. It's great to be able to partner with people and to buy real estate together as a team. If you both have the same goals, you both have to have the same you know, goals and, and, uh, and have everything laid out on the table with contracts, legal, none of this, you know, I, you have my word, here's my handshake, no, that doesn't work. But I'm seeing a lot more people partner up in this market because of the way circumstances are heading. Now, when you've made your purchases in the past, have they been through realtors, or have you found them some other means? Um, both. Um, the property in Kern County, I actually found myself on Realtor.com, and I love accessing MLS websites around the country. And it's actually very easy to do it. Most MLS websites do have a guest pass where ordinary people can tap into it and see what's available in their market. Um, so I would do a lot of research on different MLS websites. Um, I would call realtors, brokers, and, uh, and also realtor.com. The guest pass, is that something that you got from a realtor or was it there online? No, they have it online. Okay. And you can actually just go right in there and, and do your research. Like the Santa Barbara MLS, <coughs> anybody can go. Okay. Santa Barbara MLS or the um, Santa Barbara Association of Realtors, okay. and then you can access the MLS right from there. To be honest, so I think most of them have that. Yeah. Probably the they biggest know. difference is you don't get the private remarks though. That's it. Yeah, you don't. You don't get everything. You don't get access to all the information, but at least you're able to see, um, you know, photos, uh, the location, the listing price, and if you want more information, you can call the listing agent. And normally when I find a good deal that I like, I like to negotiate directly with the listing agent um, because if they know they're going to um, get both cuts of the commission, they're you know, more likely to be motivated to help you. Um, I also like to have multiple 